Okay, so I'm here today to talk to you about an app that will improve your literacy. And by literacy, I don't just mean reading the books and articles and stuff that you're assigned to read in school, because that's not real literacy. That's just one act, aspect of literacy. Uh, literacy is two things. It's being able to read a text and being able to read the world around you. Um, and I'm going to show you an app today that will help you with that second part of literacy, being able to understand and read the world around you. And that's the news app, which is a default app installed on your iPad. You just click the little pink icon with the newspaper for news, and it brings it up. Um, and you say, get started. And so you get to choose sources here, a bunch of different sources about a bunch of different topics. And it's going to give you articles from those sources for you to read. Like, for instance, I grew up in New Jersey. I used to take the New York Times to school with me every day. It's why I was so popular with the ladies. So I can choose New York Times. Um, if I wanted really bad journalism, I'd choose CNN. If I wanted really bad sports journalism, I'd choose ESPN. Let's go with Washington Post. Um, Vanity Fair, it's got Rihanna on it. Atlantic is good. And you can see a bunch of different topics. Newspapers like NPR, uh, public radio, magazines. Um, and all these you can access regardless of whether or not the individual sites have subscription models or whether or not they have uh, article limits of how many articles you can view per month because it curates them through the app. So New Yorker, I used to subscribe to that until I ran out of money. Mm, let's see, that's got a panda on it. And you can see different topics. There's uh, sports, fashion, food, news. 538 is really good data journalism about sports and politics. It's also a Rolling Stone. It's got Taylor Swift on the cover. Um, that's good enough for now. So you just say continue. And now it's going to bring, oh, we don't want to say that. No one gets email, so we just say not now. So now it's going to prepare my news, and it'll bring up a page that'll have source, or articles from all these sources uh, presented in a nice, easy-to-read uh, format. And you can modify things. Let's see that Apple News update. Let's get started of that. Done. You can find more stuff. It gives you suggested channels. It gives you topics as well if you're interested in science or entertainment. Um, or politics, you could just click on that and choose different topics, um, people that you're interested in following, that sort of thing. Um, you can search for topics, like I like the Seattle Mariners, I'm a big Mariners fan. So if I just search for Seattle, then I can use Seattle Mariners. And it's going to show me all the topics, this article is about Seattle Mariners. I can just click on the little plus up at the top, and now that's going to be in my feed. When it updates here, it says checking for new stories, it's got some new stories in there, Mariner stories, because I added that source. So it's a really great way uh, to find out information, to find out what's going on around you, to read about the world and understand the world better, because that's what makes you a truly literate person, not just reading the books that you're assigned in school. So next time you're bored in class, I hope that you'll take a look at the news app uh, and find some interesting stuff to read about all the terrible things going on in the world.